All right, good morning again, guys. It is still Thursday the 16th, 2015. Figured I have everything set up here, so I'll just go knock out another video for you guys. This is Spec Operator 4. Uh, a couple of other knives I've gotten recently in the last week or so. We got the Spyderco PPT. This is the Sprint Run. I had the original version and got rid of it. I told you guys I regretted that. This is honestly one of my top five Spydercos. Very fairly priced at about 140-ish, I wanna say. I mean, for the quality, I think you're getting an incredible knife. Okay, S30V, deep carry pocket clip. Love the little lanyard they put on here for you. Okay, perfectly centered like every Spyderco I've gotten. All right, it's a textured G10, which feels really nice in the hand. Not too smooth, not too rough. It's gonna definitely provide grip for you. Like I had mentioned, because of your lock, it's a little harder to do the middle finger flick, but of course, very doable. So we got the blade length looking at about 3.15 inches, guys. All right, the handle is about 4.25. Overall length, sorry, the phone's ringing. Overall length is 7.4 inches and the weight is 5.2. All right, you got a black coated blade and you can definitely find them, they're available. Great knife. Okay, fit in hand is just incredible. Jimping on the top here. Great knife. All right, we got our Rubicon. Did an unboxing the other day and I wasn't as excited as I had hoped I was gonna be. I've wanted this knife for a while. I was never gonna pay $300 for a S30V blade steel, which I still think at the price it's at right now is too high. They just jumped it up to 35 VN, XHP even. Um, I think it would fly off the shelves, guys. Light knife comes in at about 4.2 ounces for how big it is. It's a full ounce lighter than your PPT. Okay, as you can see there, almost, almost the same exact length here. Overall length, that is. All right, you're looking at a blade length of about three inches, 3.02. Handle length, 4.34. Overall length, 7.37 inches. Like I said, the weight is about 4.2 inches, inches, ounces. I apologize. All right, you got the black G10 spacer back here. Black, orange. I had a little issue with the last little spike here right on the end there kind of dig it into my hand a little bit and I had previously said that the liner lock inside the titanium here definitely pinches your thumb fat right in between the scale and where you're going to close so when you slide it over you can see here pinches my thumb a little bit you know it's something you can overlook beautiful knife Definitely a collector's piece, more than a carry piece, I believe. Okay, I believe it won International Blade of the Year. And, funny enough, skeletonized liners in there in the titanium, on both sides. Okay. Flipping action's okay. I think the domino flips a little better than this. I believe this is just running on the washers, if I believe correctly. I haven't really checked that out yet, guys. Yeah, I think it's on the Teflon washers, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay, Spyderco Rubicon. Got a good deal on this. I think I paid 230 for it. All right, quick little review, guys. And if you're looking at the boxes on the table that just arrived in the mail today, that's my 940-1 
and also I believe maybe my ZT 0200 all right so I'll throw a video on real quick uh, in a minute here guys okay thanks for watching and talk to you soon God bless